All right, so time to go find the... I think I missed, uh, what's his name? Fist's thing. Data thingy. You know what I mean. C-Sec always turned a blind eye to one minute on it. I think Fist was paying someone off. Well, I'm glad he figured that Dancers out. Dancers are highly respected among my people, but I get the feeling these women are not held in high esteem. <laughs> not at all, Tally. They completely are. They're revered by every guy sitting here. Uh, you. Go away. Let me, let me drink. How does this guy ever survive this game? I guess it's true what they say about drunk people always survive, right? I would think otherwise he would have been killed. Alright, yeah, that thing. travel like inquisition fast travel and off to find what's her name I know I'm failing at this I just spoke to her the reporter I keep thinking of the other reporter's name the one that's always kind of a bitch the elevator instead. Do you guys have anything to say? No. I always wish you could have a conversation with like any party members you brought there, but it seems to be only Ashley and Caden. Word on the street is that you've been busy. Congratulations on taking down Fist. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. <laughs> You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Here, Commander, for your trouble. What would my future cooperation be worth? Say, an interview when my investigation is over? Exclusive? You talk to me before you talk to anyone else? That would be uh, worth quite a bit, and I'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly. Here you are. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should go see what's on these discs. What investigation are we talking about? Are we talking about my tracking down Sarah? Or some other investigation? Because somehow I get the feeling that tracking down Sarah is supposed to be a secret. I mean, I get it. I'm a new specter. Maybe I haven't really figured that out yet. I don't think you bought this here. I don't sell this model. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. <laughs> really? That's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place! I can tell Are them apart. Are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no, I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. Right. I'm sorry, man. I can't help you. But, what would you... Can't help you. In a world where everything's electronic, I find myself uh, hard-pressed really... to believe that guy doesn't wow. have a... Oh, God. You. You're yeah. Commander Shepard! The hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Am I like digitally signing something? Go. Like there's no pen signature anymore? Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. 
Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. How did that guy ever get married? Anything you want, you can find for sale in the wards, legal or otherwise. A few of my people have visited here on their pilgrimage, but their descriptions of the wards hardly do them justice. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? God, my armor's so the white. The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. Their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Ah, well, I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's Show not. me what you got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. All right. What do you have? Oh, I need these. Oh, so, all right, sorry guys, uh, I realized, I started going through my inventory and selling stuff, and I realized that I had had the video running the whole time, and I wasn't even talking anymore, so I just cut that part out. Uh, I'm sure that it wasn't that interesting to watch me go through all the inventory, and I started breaking down stuff, so let's keep going. Gotta go back to Chaira. Turn in my stuff. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the console? I don't know exactly. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. That's not strange. Many of us have felt the same calling, though you are the first of your kind to respond to it. Really? I hadn't seen any other humans working here, but I didn't want to ask. No doubt you are just the first of many to come. It's only a matter of time now that your species is spreading its wings. You know, I, I realize that it's likely game engine limitations and stuff like this, but um, I wish there was more different dresses than the like same model over and over again. Here, it's excusable to some extent, like Commander, whatever, it's a uniform. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander, but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. Sure. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone, but it gives you strength. That strength is what kept you alive when everyone around you was dying. You alone survived. You will continue to survive. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Thanks. Thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What does it do? What trinket? What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, too. Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. So back to what they I was saying about the dresses. On a space station. 
I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. So here in like the concert, like whatever, the uh, office, whatever you want to call this place, like I get it, like they're all wearing the same dress, it sort of makes sense as a uniform, except when you get to Shaira, right? And I would expect her to be wearing something else. And I don't think like it had to be completely different. I think I would have been fine if they had just changed the color of it. But again, I, you know, seems like all the best lounges are being replaced by places like Cora's Den. This game has aged sufficiently well, but I do realize that bureaucrats. It had a pretty decent amount of limitations back then. Do I believe it's created in Unreal Three? The ambassadors have this beautiful park to relax in, but most of them are too busy to ever use it. I don't know. Could have also been simply a limitation of resources as to, like, texture artists, you know, and they just didn't have time to create additional textures, or the modelers didn't have time to create additional models. I don't know. Partly the only thing I wish is that they had given these games, the whole series, more modability, if you will. Like just, rather than restricting everything and having it to be like a huge effort for anybody to mod it, to just, you know, go the Bethesda route and make it easily accessible to mod the game. I feel like it gives far more, uh, longevity to the game. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the Diplomatic Corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? I'm here on behalf of Samesh Bhatia for his wife, Nirali. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her yes. wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. There are no other bodies? There Respectfully, dead. serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Bodies? So you have multiples? You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. That's way too late. Seriously, dude. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander! You, of all people, should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I am out here fighting to stop crap like this. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. You better. In a few years, it's totally this useless to strange. me. Wish there were more humans around. Hey, I can see into the next area. What is this? Ah, the executor's office. Let's go visit him. Although I kind of wish I could just jump over that and just like jump into his office. That would have been fun. So they finally did it. I knew one of your kind would make Spectre one day. I'm I only thrilled. hope you're better than the one they're sending you after. I'll do everything I can to stop Saren. Hmm. That's what worries me. Was there something you wanted? You're kind of a jerk. You know I'll be that? going now. Goodbye, Commander. I think I've talked to you. Oh! Keeper. Wait, no. 
Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded yes. Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness, but it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. The one thing I'm not clear of in the Mass Effect universe, and I think I've mentioned this before, um, like, how long does it take to travel from place to place? What am I up to? You know, like, how long does it take to get from the Citadel back to it? Because it always like, yo, you make the mass relay jump and it's like, it seems like you're there, but like, is it actually like an instant jump or is it like you spend, you know, hours, days traveling through some sort of wormhole or something? They're never very clear on the timing. I just know that I think like the game takes place over a couple of months, two, three months or something like that. So, One sec. Looking you just up. curious. I know, that's probably getting too far into it. I watch too much Star Trek Commander to not have to wonder these here things. with the Alliance military. First time on the Citadel, that about right? How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So, will you be purchasing anything today, Commander Shepard? Show me what you've got. Sounds good. Just let me set you up. Oh, this must be a mistake. System's telling me to offer you our select stock. Spectre? Well, I heard about that, but I didn't realize it was you. Sorry, Commander. Just That's show me okay. what you got. Well, I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. That sounded Enjoy. a little bit meaner than I intended it to. threatened you? Well, no, uh, not exactly. But he wants to meet with me. I think he's going to kill me. And why do you think that? I... I can't really get into the details. But Shorbin will kill me if I leave here unprotected. I can't help you. Not unless you give me something more to go on. I... I can't. I'm sorry. Then I've... Hey there! Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? No. Nope. Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home. Just waiting for a chance. This sounds a little bit paranoid. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. Well. He thinks he can just push me around. But you'll show him, won't you? Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Oh, right. Well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. His name's Shorbin. He's a Salarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Wasn't that the Salarian who asked us to scam the Keepers? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. Yeah, yeah. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorbin these days. Well, good luck. So I don't know if my mic. I used to have it an up, office but... here. I used to spend half my time doing paperwork. 
Quarians aren't too popular with Citadel security. They think we're all beggars and thieves. I don't know if the mic picked it up, but I heard my phone. If you possibly heard some Dragon Age music, that was my phone. I have no idea where it is now. I'm looking around and it's clearly close enough for me to hear it, but I don't see it anywhere. I guess I should go track it down. In a bit. Helena Blake, have I talked to her yet? Keeper. It's one of the ones I always miss, so good deal. Um, codex entries. Is that it? Oh wait, wait, wait. There's another one. All right, let's go now. Not sure where yet. Sorry, I skipped a bunch of stuff there again. I paused my recording. Um, I forgot In to other check news, on the Exogenicorp is still denying bought, reports so. that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. Didn't think you wanted to see when that. When asked why it communication probably... with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Interesting. Um, yeah, I've been cutting out a lot of my menu browsing just because that would probably easily make a whole half hour video in and of itself on the average day. So uh, if you see those little hiccups and stuff, it's usually like I paused the game and like got up and forgot to stop recording or I paused the game and uh, I was looking through like my codex entries or my journal or my inventory trying to sort it out because it seems to be permanently full these days. So yeah. That's most of the skips and hiccups that you see through the video. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is what? yours now. She's quick and quiet, that. and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I want but the truth. What about you? Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Shepard. They were considering me for the Spectres. What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Pharaoh system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But, but if they do exist, the Conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the Conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist, who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. 
We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau Cluster. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau Cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I don't report to you, remember? I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Watch for me. I don't like you anyway. You're kind of annoying. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador I, Goyle I, was our representative here on the Citadel. I like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned? Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. Sounds like overkill to me. The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly Jeez. civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated, mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How'd he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. Uh, You're right, Commander. That's it's really no not good what I intended to, to say. What do you know about I'm the Artemis meant. Tau Cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. I should go. Okay. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright, what's around here? What? Oh, what? The Normandy combines the best of Alliance technology and Turian engineering. It shows what we're capable of if we work together. The Normandy is amazing, Shepard. It's an honor to be among her crew. Captain Anderson ship, and I did just steal it from him. 
which I'm sure was not Shepard's intention. Alright, let's wait. What was that? Ah. Okay, now let's go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Decontamination in progress. Apparently I have a restless cat who has decided to stand in front of my screen. Decontam- I can't see that, but- Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. Things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. Sure, let's do a... Let's do an inspirational speech This here. is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. The Captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't fail. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.